So yesterday I went to ISKCON temple and for people who don't know what ISKCON is, it's an International Society of Krishna, which is a form of uh, Hinduism. And uh, there they were having this lecture where well, the lecturer or the guru, as we say, he was uh, reading excerpts from Bhagavad Gita, which is like a holy religious book in Hinduism and uh, explaining, of, uh, explaining about different aspects of life. And uh, at the end of that whole lecture, there was a Q&A round and this one guy, he asked a question that I've devoted all my life. I've spent like 33 years of my life devoted to Lord Krishna and uh, in the search of uh, eternal happiness and eternal truth. But I don't feel I have that yet. And uh, to which the lecturer or the guru responded that we all have it inside of us. And then he explained it with an analogy that we all know the destination and we have the ticket, but it's the journey that we have to take to go to the airport or go to the train station and get on it and then go to our destination. So it's always within us. It's just the journey that we have to take. And that actually got me thinking that then in that case, there is just no one way of doing that. There's just no one way of finding those eternal, uh, happiness or the answer or the eternal truth so you can have your own way of finding the eternal truth as to what you consider is uh, the mode of transportation is feasible for you to find that eternal answers or the eternal truth or the happiness so it was interesting to have uh, to come to that realization from that conversation it was interesting <laughs>